Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Today I have a card share for you, or a couple of cards to share with you. Um, <laughs> Christmas is fast upon us, so um, I just made a couple of these little Christmas card uh, note cards. And um, as you can see, I've got a gold and black theme going together. I mean, gold and black are so beautiful together. Uh, but this first card here, I used our new seasonal frames thinlet dies, which coordinates with the sparkly seasons die. So you can get these as a bundle or separately. Uh, if you want more information on any of these Stampin' Up! products that I will be sharing with you today, uh, just send me a message to ICD Light, spelled L I T E, uh, at Verizon.net. You will also find that in my About Me section on the channel. And I use the uh, All Ye Faithful. So I use this stamp right here and the globe here and the stand. And then I just cut out the, uh, the globe with the circle and it is behind the stand. I uh, stamped both of these images using the Encore Ultimate Metallic Gold. Um, we used to sell this. I do not believe we sell it anymore. Um, but I have to tell you, when I show you the next card, I actually like doing the gold embossing. I mean, this is nice, but you get a better uh, look, I think, uh, with the, the embossing. But, you know, you can use a gold uh, ink as well, and it will work just fine. So, let's see what else. And then, of course, this beautiful... Um, gold baker's twine you know I love it if you follow my channel at all um, this is just so pretty so I just wrapped that around the stand part I popped it up with dimensionals on the top and also used the sentiment from this stamp set and that was it oh and the gold is brush uh, the brush gold and basic black cardstock so there's that one and then this one, uh, this is so beautiful. And this is from this stamp set, Dove of Peace. And I just used the whole stamp. It's one stamp. Of course, you can choose to just, you know, ink up the bird and not the words or vice versa. So you can use it as a two-parter or just the whole stamp, which is what I did here. And I uh, embossed this with our, our gold embossing powder added this really pretty gold thread that we carry. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's so thin, but when you, you know, kind of bunch, wind it up and, you know, do uh, like what I did here. I don't know what to call this. Um, it's, it's quite pretty. And then I used our very vintage buttons. And you get quite a few of those uh, in the container. So, and let's see what else. And then again, use that brush gold cardstock and the basic black cardstock. So I think that was everything, except that I did fail to point out um, I didn't stamp this as well as I would have liked. So I did color it in uh, using a gold marker. So any gold marker, um, I'm not sure we carry that anymore either, but uh, just just an idea. And then I, I inked it in soft suede and also uh, soft sky. So there's a little little bit of a blue tint in there. So I think that's, that's all I have to say about the two cards. Nope, it's not. <laughs> that's like me to forget things. Um, and if you follow me, you know that already. I also wanted to show you this, this wonderful uh, triple punch. It has three different punches on it, and the one I used on this card, as you can see my corners, were punched out with this uh, corner right here. So it has two very pretty decorative punches, and then this 
is, uh, you know, it would be your opening at the top of a tag where you can run some ribbon through or something like that. And I'm sure I will be showing you other projects. Oh, Lord willing, I will be showing you other projects using this uh, great little tool. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these projects. And as always, uh, I look forward to being with you again. And I thank you so much for stopping by.